If someone had told me that a film about loneliness, unemployment, and hardship will be one of the most inspiring films of the year, I would think it would be boring. But then I saw Nomadland, which explores the subject in a way that doesn't leave you feeling disappointed. That's not to say Close You with Feature is one of the tastiest movies you'll ever see, but, of course, one of the most honest things that makes it inspirational is a way of resulting the strength and resilience of the human condition in difficult times. The film shows you that, along with the hardship and the heritage, there is also serenity in this way of life, even a kind of euphoria. Without the prudence of house and possessions, you can have glorious and very American freedom. With that in mind, let's take a look at the plot summary, character analysis, story theme, cinematography, and the outstanding symbols that can be found. Nomadland is a story of Fern, a woman who has lost everything in the Great Recession. We watch as Fern begins her life of living in fan and starts a job at Amazon. She decides she wants to live a nomadic lifestyle, moving out into the desert and joining a nomadic community. As the film progresses, she travels in and out of various nomadic communities, taking various jobs and connecting with various unique individuals. Ultimately, Fern is forced to confront her fear of attachment and is faced with the decision to either settle down or keep moving with her life on the road. The film's ending leaves us to debate Fern's ultimate fate and what she will decide. This ambitious conclusion forces us to reflect on the meaning of the film overall, questioning what we believe Fern ought to do and what we believe she will in fact do. One of the aspects of Nomadland which must make it stand out from other films released on this year is its hybridization of fiction and documentary filmmaking approaches. Nomadland directed by Closo, follows realistic cinema, focused on realistically capturing the small, intimate details of life. The narrative of the film is fictional, but many of the characters within the film are real people, portraying themselves on screen. For instance, Swanky, one of the nomads Fern meets on her journey, is a real nomad. In fact, almost all of the nomads that are featured in the film are actual nomads living in the desert. This approach to capturing life as accurately as possible gives the film a feeling of realism and honesty. It very much follows in the wake of the realist movements of the past by accusing a non-professional actress and a simplistic story. Character analysis Of course, Fern is the star, protagonist. Fern is in her 60s and was forced to relocate from her home in Empire, Nevada. A town that virtually disappeared off or the map because of the Great American Recession in 2008. After losing both her home and her husband, Bo, she picks up and decides to live as a nomad across the western US. Fern is an embodiment of humility. It is shown in her ability to meaningfully interact and engage with people despite her circumstances and her lifestyle. She always made a positive impact on most people and even though she is suffering, there is no judge, she is resigned to fate. In addition, McDormand masterfully puts together a complex character who deserves no pity and no sadness, but instead who insists on living life on their own terms. Fern works odd seasonal jobs to sustain herself, but she doesn't really have a motive left in life. Where she is going, why she is going, we are fed with nothing. The story moves in a circle where Fern is constantly moving and meeting new people. In the pursuit, she is evolving into a better person who understands the materialism and attachment have no place in life. Linda May is a 64-year-old nomad and grandmother from California who lives and travels in her trailer, works physically, demanding seasonal jobs and dreams of one day building her own sustainable home. Linda May, an old woman who first met at an Amazon factory, was a traveler during the financial crisis of the late 2000. She was working for the Amazon Jungle Camp program at the time, which saw her life in an RV and walk 12 hours a day for little money. She is also one of the main characters whose story is definitely touching. In one scene, May's character recalls how she wanted to take her own life. But she didn't just because she couldn't leave her dog behind a fence. It's a heartbreaking moment, but delving deeper, 
than the nomadic lifestyle? Is the story of perseverance also based on one of Mayer's real experiences? Most of the cats in nomad land are non-actors and supporting roles in order to further establish the authenticity of the story. For example, Bob Wells and Swanky. They also provide some real-life anecdotes that they remember from their own experiences. Swanky, stricken with poverty as a nomad roaming the highways of Great America in search of work, and Bob, he's still mourning his son's suicide and wants to honor his name by serving the people on the street. He's a leader in the nomad community and is the founder of the influential website CheaprVLiving.com and the Robert Trump Randersby and a new old nomad gathering in Arizona. The only other familiar face belongs to David Strader, perfect as a man who firm befriends. Each character brings realism to the film that will grip you on a deep emotional level. Cinematography Apart from the characters, one of the most impressive aspects of this movie is the cinematography. Certain parts of Nomadland are not difficult to capture beautifully shot from a variety of beautiful locations. Fast desert landscape, snow-capped mountains and rushing rivers. Even the smallest and most unattractive places are magnificently displayed. They make fast food restaurants and the inside of Fern, Linda and Swanky's ponds look very beautiful. The cinematography impressively depicts Fern's inner and outer world. As Fern boldly steered herself into a new face, she was accompanied by the scenery outside her fan window. Nature, neither rigid nor accommodating, proves to be Fern's most loyal companion on her existential journey. Nomadland Themes The main themes in Nomadland are family and community, health and old age, and freedom and entrapment. Family and Community Nomadic fan dwellers discover chosen families on the road, finding a thriving community online and at gatherings like the Robert Tram Rendezvous. Health and Old Age Most of the nomads are senior citizens who are spending their premised retirement performing manual labor and have little access to health care. Freedom and Entrapment while nomadism offers a sense of freedom, it is also keeps nomads trapped in an exploitative system of corporate work camper jobs that prey on the poor and elderly. Symbolism in Nomad Land Finding Freedom from Attachments The most interesting issue here is not the problem of poverty or maybe happiness is outside the house, but more emphasis on symbol of finding freedom. Free from all demands and attachments, Every element of nomad land speaks of liberation, liberation from within, and in general, being a nomad means living home. However, in nomad land, the meaning goes much deeper. Fern sought her materialistic items, but she was still stuck with past memories. She's not a complete wanderer, but is on her way to becoming a wanderer. She had accepted the fact that living in a van didn't mean being homeless. That's why she said the same thing when a little girl from this town told her. Mom said, you're homeless. Where friend replied, not homeless, but houseless. Not the same thing, right? However, Fern was still not free from attachment. People still worry about her, and she finds it hard to leave people and move on with life. In fact, she still harbors grief over the loss of her husband. She spoke the same thing. I probably spend too much time just remembering, Bob. And when we hold on to our past, it really becomes impossible for us to concentrate on our future. It happened with Fern as memories kept pressing on her when she should have accepted that her husband was gone and that she should be able to come back to move on with her life. Bob Wells told Fern it's okay to remember but goodbyes are part of life. Chase that. Fern understood this and made a final visit to the used Gibson factory where she walked with her husband. She wanders the street again in hopes of meeting the past again on the way. The search for freedom is also carried out by Linda and David, as well as other sporting characters such as Derek, Swanky, or other community members who tell the story of a friend who died of cancer 
and didn't have time to have fun in his life. They just want to live free from all demands, family and work demands and attachments. Nomad land is a real life situation of many nomadic Americans. In post recession America, many people are forced to live in these circumstances, working exhausting and sometimes dangerous job with poor pay just to scrap a while they live out of the van. Of course, others voluntarily choose to wander his life, preferring freedom over security. Nomadland seeks to document the lives of these individuals by filming real-life people and incorporating them into fictional, but actually real, stories. It's beautifully executed on every level. The acting, cinematography, editing and dialogue of the film are all superb. The film may be a bit slow for some audiences, but it's more character-driven than plot. Nomadland is very personal film to understand life better. To better understand ourselves, it is a journey on the road and within ourselves, and this gives you enough to think. What's remembered lives. I maybe spent too much of my life just remembering.